Hi, and welcome to this third video in my Year of Slow experiment for this year. I started in February. I did pretty well in March. And then April came and I didn't do a video. And then the beginning of May came and I didn't do a video. And I'm going to be honest with you, I got overwhelmed. Work was busy, things going on at church, so much prep to do for Easter and a child getting ready to graduate and Eind Exama and life and medical issues and keeping up with people. It's just been a lot. And I started slacking off with the whole rest bit. I actually started taking breaks that were more about avoidance than actual rest. I think this is something a lot of us do when we get overwhelmed. You know, in the midst of our real life, when we have work to do and there's things that need to be taken out and laundry and animals and kids and work, we get overwhelmed. And so we start taking what I call avoidance breaks. We might take a break from the work or from the chores or the expectations, but it's an avoidance break. In other words, we engage in an activity which doesn't truly help us rest and recharge. It just kind of fills the time with mindless things, but it doesn't help us rest. The classic example would be watching way too much television, but there's so many other ways to do avoidance by spending way too much time calling and talking with people constantly when what we really need to do is be quiet for a little bit. Or conversely, avoiding everyone when what we really need to do is reach out to a few people and have some meaningful and uplifting conversations. So yeah, I've been avoiding. I haven't been truly resting. And I figured out again that sometimes when we are making a habit change, when we want to restart, we actually have to restart again. So that's what I'm doing because I don't want to give up on this experiment because taking time to truly rest is making a difference when I do it. So back on track, I'd like to invite you if you've given up or maybe just got busy or if you're overwhelmed or if you're just starting to come and join me. And as it is May 12th, we don't even have a full month. We have about 20 days if you start today. I have an idea for what we can do. I'm going to say for the next 18 days. So let's, let's do it. Um, 18 divided by three. I have three tasks, six days each. You can throw in the other couple days wherever you want. But here's what I'd like us to do. And you're going to need some special equipment for this. You're going to need a pen. And then you're going to need a pad of paper or a journal or your phone, your note taking app, whatever place you like to keep track of things on could be your computer calendar. Spend about six days when you're just having some quiet time, when you are intentionally doing your two minutes of silence, which was the task from February. Take a moment to write down what are those things in your life, whether it's work or personal or health or whatever, what are those things that you're trying to avoid that you really don't want to engage with? not asking you to do anything about them. Just make a note of those things that you're avoiding. And then for the second six days, just make a note of how you're avoiding those things. Are you just making yourself more busy and therefore more crazy with other work, other chores, other engagements? Are you doing what I have done and take avoidance breaks? Have you stopped exercising because I just don't have time? And yet you fill that time with other things and not the task that you're avoiding. So what are you avoiding and how are you avoiding it? What are you filling your time with anyway? And then for the third six days, I'd like us to consider how we might rewrite our lives. I saw a meme the other day and it was simple, but it was something that really spoke to me. It just said, you know, at any given moment, you can choose to change the outcome of your story. And I just thought that's so true. Like so often we get stuck or we feel like we're stuck in this rut. But generally speaking, there are things we can do. There are behaviors we can change. There are steps we can take to change 
our story. So what are some things I would like to do to change my story, to not be avoiding these things, to not feel overwhelmed, to be more rested and intentional? So really easy. If you're just jumping in or coming back to it like I am, try to take two minutes a day to be quiet. I have found it is so essential for me to set that time aside to just be quiet and breathe and open myself up to prayer, to hearing the voice of God. The second challenge I gave was to have a mini Saturday in the middle of the week. Do something fun and beloved just because it could be something as simple as candles at supper time. I'm baking a special cake this week. I haven't baked a cake in forever and I love trying out new ones. So I'm trying a fun cake recipe this week. And now the third challenge, the late challenge, don't beat yourself up. Just take a moment. Think about those things that you are avoiding. What are the ways you avoid it with? And what are some things you would like to do to rewrite the end of your story? Just keep a little list. You don't have to do anything with it. I guess I want us to be aware of these things. I hope that by being aware, we can get back to the important task of resting intentionally so that avoidance doesn't become a survival mechanism, so that we have the energy we need to do the things we need to do, even the ones we don't like doing, so that we can rest, truly rest, in order to fulfill our work rather than work, 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 so that we can rest. I think rest needs to be the underpinning of our lives rather than work. That's the goal I'm aiming for. That's the story I'm trying to write, even if I have to start writing all over again. Join me. I'm going to put up some resources that I think might help. We have a Facebook group if you want to join. Just drop me an email or a message below and I'll be happy to be in contact with you again. Here's to restarting again. Until next time.